Today we're going to replace the light bulb in this built-in GE Profile microwave oven. In their infinite wisdom, GE engineers decided that you need to take the microwave apart to get to the light bulb. They couldn't just simply put a door where you reach in and replace the bulb. And that would be too easy. So to get inside the microwave, we have to first remove it from the cabinet. I'm going to show you how to do that first. First, we need to remove the decorative frame from around the microwave. To remove the decorative trim, open the microwave door and you should find four screws, two at the top, two at the bottom. You can remove these with a standard Phillips screwdriver. As you remove each screw, it's a good idea to put these in a paper bowl somewhere where you won't lose them. With the screws removed, you should be able to close the door and just pull firmly and it should release. Next, we need to remove this top mounting bracket and on mine there's like five screws that held it in place. They may be Phillips, uh, depending on how your installer did it, there could be flathead screws. But go ahead and remove these screws and this bracket will come loose. Next, remove any screws that are holding the bottom of the microwave mounting plate in place. With all the mounting screws removed, you should be able to now pull the microwave oven out from the cabinet, carefully reach behind and unplug it from the wall outlet. Now, I didn't show this in the video because I was doing this by myself, but you'll have to carefully remove the microwave oven from the cabinet, set it off to the side where you can now work on it. On the back of the microwave oven, you're going to find between four and six of these Torx 25 security screws that hold the cabinet case in place. Now, we're going to need to remove these screws, and to do that, you're going to need a Torx 25 screwdriver or a bit for your electric screwdriver. I was able to find these bits at Lowe's for about six or seven dollars. Go ahead and remove all of these screws. With the screws removed, you can now remove the case by pulling on it from the rear. It will come loose. It kind of is held in place with friction and it will come loose and you can then set it off to the side. With the case removed, you need to be very careful because the microwave capacitor can retain an electrical charge. It could be dangerous. You need to research how to discharge the capacitor on your microwave to be safe. You can research this online. If you're looking at the microwave from the front, on the right hand side toward the front, you'll find the light bulb. What you're actually looking at here is the connector and the base of the bulb. The bulb actually faces down. You can't see it until you remove it. Pull on the connector to release. The bulb is held in place by two plastic pins that extrude up through the base of the bulb. There's also a small plastic clip that holds the base in place. You need to pull this clip towards you to release the base. Now you can lift up on the bulb and remove it. You can fit the new replacement bulb over those pins and press down to make sure the clip engages the base. Reattach the electrical connector over the contacts and the bulb has been replaced.